Hello, welcome to the video for the export profile view to DXF for use with Rock Science's slide software. Uh, the slide software is used for calculating slope stability analysis and uh, in conjunction with Civil 3D we can create alignments on a surface, uh, create a quick profile view uh, of across various surfaces and have multiple profiles in there for uh, you know your various surface levels uh, if you have like a rock surface or a clay surface, things like that, uh, or if you're doing landfill work where you have the various layers of the landfill, uh, this app is very useful for this. Uh, slide software uses DXF files for import, so uh, we constantly end up having to export profile views into a DXF format for the engineers to bring into slide. Uh, in doing that, we are typically only looking for uh, surface profiles, not proposed uh, f final surface or uh, design profiles, but actually just surface profiles as they're cut from the surface. Uh, so the app is only only works with surface profiles. <clears throat> Basically, uh, what has to happen is each one of these profiles would be traced with a polyline by hand normally, or uh, the pro profile view would be exploded down uh, into polylines, and then we would trace boundaries on this to create a closed polyline, which is required by on the slide software to apply a material boundary. Uh, so the app automates that process uh, by iterating through all the surface profile views in or profiles in the profile view, creating a polyline, dropping a line down at the end state at the end station to the datum line, coming back to the zero station of the profile, and back up. Um, so if the profile does you know uh, begin and end somewhere in the middle of the profile view, it it uses the profile station stationing uh, to determine where that's going to be at. Um, along with that, <coughs> the profile views can have a, a, a coordinate system in relation to the site and not necessarily in relation to the station and elevation of the profile view. So the app automates the process of moving those polylines to a coordinate system that relates to the station and elevation. So here we have 0 and 640, so it would create the polyline around here, move that polyline to station 0, 640, so that when it's exported and brought into slide, you can see the station and elevation in the software. <clears throat> Along with that, we typically have to create exterior boundaries that which would be brought in uh, first and that's kind of a compilation of all the profiles that are in the profile view. Uh, it would be this outermost profile in this area which is a different profile than what is over on this side uh, which would also be the outermost area. So it uh, needs to join all three profiles or all three profiles into one uh, exterior polyline. So the app automates that process as well. So with that we're going to go ahead and uh, run the app and you'll see that uh, we're not actually doing anything with slide here, we're just exporting the profile to a DXF format so that it can be imported into slide. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and run the command. On running the command you'll get four different options. You have all. All allows you to pick a profile view and it iterates through all of the uh, profile or surface profiles in that profile view. Selection mode gives you a dialog for selecting a specific name in relation to that profile view. Um, and then you can export you know, just a couple of different profiles if you would like or uh, all of them still. In the selection mode does not create the outer boundary uh, automatically. The all mode creates the outer boundary and each profile. <clears throat> then we have a boundary mode for creating just the exterior boundary. 
it does not create any of the other profiles, but it uses all those profiles to determine, actually it uses a, select, a selection set of profiles. So you can select however many you want to create that exterior boundary. Um, the last part is a options dialog. Uh, what this is, is it provides some additional options here. Uh, first one, only export profiles drawn in profile view. So when running the app, um, you could have some profile views in the profile, or you could have profiles in the profile view that are turned off uh, and not displayed, which is what this mode would process. If you uncheck this, it would process also the profiles that are turned off and not displayed. Uh, so it gives you that option without having to go in and turn those on manually. <clears throat> um, performing an export with a quick view. Uh, basically, the app moves the, prof the, the polyline to a correct coordinate system, then it W blocks that file out, saves it to a location, and then creates a DXF of that file. Um, so when it performs that action, checking this box would basically open up each one of those drawings so you'd see a quick flash on the screen of, of what the boundary that it created. <clears throat> and then we can also save the W block files if we would desire. Uh, otherwise the app will delete them. So I'm going to go ahead and turn both of these on just so you can see them function in that way. So once I hit all here, uh, you'll see the files start to populate over here and you'll see them uh, process on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and hit all, select my profile view, and I'm going to select my save location. So you're seeing the files populate on the right. And we're going to get this dialog because I don't have it set. Um, it, I'll pause right here as you can see the boundary being created from the first profile. So it, it has gone through and uh, you know traced the profile view. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck this so that we can see each one and pause at this point. Otherwise it would just do a quick flash and screen through. So here's the next one. And this process is a little bit slower. We can speed this up by turning off some options. Um, so you can see they're, they're slightly different because each profile is slightly different. And the last one we're opening up here would be the external boundary, which would be a merger of those three. So here it's gone through and found the exterior boundary of all those. So then it gives you a report to say what's been created and where they've been created at. So you can see we have the files here. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the exterior boundary. Just so that uh, for demonstration purposes that you can see what it's actually doing. I'm going to import the profiles into here. So you can see the exterior boundary profile is where it needs to be for creating that line. So if we go through and So we actually have all the profiles in here, um, but they're closed polylines. So it it does create the the profiles as necessary. So um, then it also creates the DXFs for you. Now I'll go ahead and process it it's a little bit different here. Let's uh, rerun the command. We'll go into options. 
let's turn off the save w blocks in the quick view say okay go ahead and all you'll quick see them uh, populate but then it goes ahead and deletes them and just leaves the DXFs so then you're ready to go and you can see that it's much faster to process that way um, but if you wanted to see it happen you could <clears throat> and we'll run it again do the selection mode uh, selection mode again we'll click the profile view here's our dialog to say which profiles we want to deal with. We could say we only want to deal with these two. And now it's only processed those two. Uh, same goes with the external boundary. Let's say I only want to deal with those two profiles. So I could click in here, click those two profiles and now it's only going to create an external boundary from those two so if you had multiple ones shown in here you could do it that way if you wanted um, and then from there you would uh, open up slide import this external boundary and assign it that and then each surface you brought in underneath would be a material and again the uh, coordinate system would be relatable to the profile view information so uh, that's the app I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and you can find the app out on the App Store for Autodesk thanks for watching